Dave Wheeler, I don't think you've joined us before. Well, it's been a while. Um, I was at Intel, and so I had uh, joined uh, while uh, uh, we were. Uh, but uh, I've been kind of on a hiatus as I jumped from Intel to Amazon. Oh, I didn't know you were at Amazon. Okay, very good. So it's been a decade, it's been the last decade that you were last with us. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, what's his name? Um, um, Tim. Um, uh, Mr. XML, what's his name? Tim. Uh, he blogs a lot less since he uh, joined Amazon. Yeah, I'm still going oh, through the enough. process to get not approved, enough. but we'll hopefully that will finish up here soon. Um, not Berners Lee. Um, Sounds like Dave Wheeler. Yes, Ned. Hey, how are you? I am well. How about yourself? Doing good. You excited about uh, Pat coming back? I am actually. Yeah, that was good news. Yeah. Okay, so I think we have uh, our critical mass here. Um, so I was just writing, I keep a uh, attendance record because sometimes that's been an issue in past. Um, design teams. Um, sorry, Ned. And I'm missing somebody. All right. Anyway, um, so um, I went through the last two days and uh, oh, we have new new issues. Okay. Um, and I've been through and I've put a this tag on all the tickets issues that have a pull request. Um, and so we have 15 of them and I'm going to go through right after this meeting um, and uh, commit the ones that seem to have three or more uh, approvals without comments. I don't know what those are yet. Um, but what I want to do first is we want to deal with this issue, which is fiddling with handles uh maybe fixed by 285 and where are we at with this yeah michael this is the security consideration extension to describe uh, what problems there might be with the handles okay all right oh i see so this is a second part of the of the effort uh do you want to do that first or do you want to do the 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 previous part relating to the um, 248 it was, I guess. There, there, there are three parts, in fact. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, okay. one is the security consideration. One, The other one is uh, finishing off the example, um, which I sort of ended over to Hank, Hank and Eric because uh, uh, my, my, my task is finished there. Um, and the third one is uh, uh, an extension to the freshness section, the subsection that deals with handles uh, about the uh, uh, discussion around uh, the window uh, of uh, Apex that one needs to keep. Uh, this one. When, uh, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. So there right. are three of them. What, what would be easiest to do first? Uh, has anyone reviewed anything? Any of those? 248, uh, yes. Yeah, I threw a little text into the chat window. I know I could have uh, committed it, but I was seeing if anybody wanted to go that way. I had a little text at the bottom for some things that uh, weren't completely handled there. So if you just want to look at the text and people like it, then we can always do a commit on it. Where where, where would that go? What? At the bottom, I think that this was the at the bottom of the commit, because it was a long thread. There were lots of different... Um, 
So, oh, oh, this, one this, five this. one two. Yeah. Well, last I checked, anyway, unless it's been updated in the last twelve hours, this one still needed a bunch of work. I mean, it had a bunch of good work, so some of the issues are resolved, some of them are not. But it's, it's better. It's not done yet. So, so what? 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 It goes uh, one five one. That's a line number. Someone. Yeah, saying? yeah, that's it, right there. Yeah. Uh, one five one two, and that sentence is the previous text. Uh, just wanted to see because there was a number of other comments that hit that exact same area, and it became hard to read. So I just did some continuous text to see if people liked it. Okay, so basically, I'm going to paste in what you just wrote in chat. I think. I'm just going to check and make sure I got that right. Like I didn't paste the wrong content is this supposed to be the text that starts the section or is this in the middle uh, one five one two one five one four so i think it's supposed to replace from uh here yeah my question is is that the first sentence or that's not the first sentence it's it is. well it starts off in the illustrated scenario so i, I think know it starts off this. is there anything above this in the green is my question oh uh it's a blank line Okay, there's a whole paragraph. Okay, fair enough. I, I just want to see if this is the first paragraph or a later paragraph. Uh, there's a number of issues that were in the text, so I tried to just lump them together. So is the uh, illustrated scenario supposed to be a failure case or a success case? It is a case showing that uh, attestation results can be related to a previous epic. Okay. So it was an example. Uh, yeah, so we want this to be a success case. Is, is, is yes, it's agree. indicating the okay. yeah, outcomes great. of the success case. It, your two sentences look okay to me then. I mean, I have to see them in context to see, but there, I, I don't see anything. I don't see any issues with those two sentences as long as it makes sense in context. And I hope it does. But uh, that was getting back to you, Thomas, and trying to to answer part of the request that you made in your in your in your poll. Okay. So what I'd like to do, I think, is commit this suggestion and then resolve the conversation above so that we can see a little bit more. Um, so success uh, situation with results from previous epoch. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now uh, I think I'm going to just resolve this conversation. It hasn't been fixed yet. Has okay. it? Is that, is that the one that we just replaced? Well, that's the part that we just replaced. So okay, gotcha. Then you, yeah, you can resolve it. If, that's why I want to resolve it because it's in yeah, the yeah. way of us actually seeing, and it would be stale anyway. Uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, still doesn't really work, right? The handle okay. to evidence mistake resolved, uh, I think. You that's just that's resolved. what I was just asking. I thought that you said that yeah. that sentence was not replaced by Eric's text. Yeah, it was replaced, but I, I'm, I'm not sure if the, I, I, the... Oh, you're right. It's still there. 11, 15, yeah. 14 still has the same problem. So is that so the issue? The one. Yes. No. That's... Yes? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's the issue. And then Hank had commented on that saying evidence is correct, meaning that yeah, the handle there. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there it is. See if it it just should have been fixed that also. in the text that I put in there too. So I also included that in the. Oh, you did? Yeah. That doesn't show. Well, that's, that's going to hit reload just to be sure. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> reload because there were the several text. things in there. I embundled them to one because it was all part of the same text blob. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Is there a refresh? Yeah, okay. So, so there's a period after epoch and then <clears throat> a fragment on 1514. Uh, the fragment can go away. The fragment below uh, should have been removed because it's actually embedded in the statement that I made. 
I agree. Uh, uh, this goes away. So that can go away. Okay, I just. Okay, so, um, uh, do you want to stop, just go from the top to the bottom now? Yeah, probably. Okay, freshness, new handle changed, lots of text changes. Resolved by Dave Thaler. Okay, suggested text and context. Um, there I tried to put in words out of the red text back in to match the first sentence of the other two sections. Objections? I mean, the green text is actually a combination of the Proposed text in the PR plus some of the words in the original red text. So, but everybody is everybody fine with passport here? They already said that. It was just lower cased in 1495. You see? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, no. Yeah. Weird. And so <laughs> never call a passport topology model. It's always a passport model with oh, capital. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that one added to the patch or? Uh, yeah, I, I committed it. I didn't. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, okay. I, I, I was afraid the batch wouldn't work well. Okay. Now, if you committed it, then uh, refresh might change a line number. Um, maybe. Maybe not. Okay. So here it's pointing to uh, freshness, but the after we moved up the text that used to be at the beginning of this section, there's another subsection underneath freshness that's very specific to uh, handles. And so first, I'd recommend referencing that instead of the less specific freshness section. Um, so the first of two points. Um, the second of two points is that the uh, text up there talks about three ways to deal with uh, freshness with handles, or at least three example ways. Um, you can see I've quoted that paragraph so you don't have to scroll up, and it's examples because it uses such as. Um, and so it would help if this one was going to, if the text here would say um, which mechanism it was going to use, whether it's one of those three or something else. And so it would be more understandable in context if we could say what mechanism it was going to use to take into account race conditions here before walking through the detailed example, given that We've had three, you know, summaries before. Is this going to be using one of those or something else? And by the way, I couldn't tell because there's brokenness in the diagram, uh, which is my later comments. Okay, so um, the question is, can we reference a subsection of freshness, which is the implicit timekeeping using epoch handles, which doesn't have a handle, doesn't have a an anchor on it. So neither did freshness before this, right? So I'm saying yeah, instead it, of adding yeah, one for freshness, we should add one for say epic freshness or something like that. That's E P O C H freshness rather than E P I C freshness. Just <laughs> Yeah, for me as a non-native speaker, <laughs> epic, epoch, and uh, epoch, or whatever, it's, it's very hard. <laughs> uh, I, and there's multiple correct pronunciations of that epoch, epoch, epic, of uh, all of those uh, different people say. Okay. Uh, I tend to have the same one, same pronunciation as EPIC, but yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do to 
enunciate them. <laughs> no, I, right. I, I learned so the suggestion. The suggestion is that instead of freshness, uh, we're going to reference epic freshness, which is a handle we'll have to insert, which I have in the other in the other window to insert. That's what proposal is, Dave. That's one of the two comments here. Okay. So let me add that as a single comment then. And the other thing you're saying. Those who wrote this section uh, and generated the, the updates to the diagram, which I understood the old diagram because I think I created the old diagram. Uh, if you want changes to the diagram, which of those three um, mechanisms are we using? Is this example intending to use or is it a fourth one? Is it using a... Uh, counter is it including two handles and messages or is it requiring retries in the case of matching handles or is it required i guess it's four not three uh, or is it by uh buffering incoming messages for some time or something else which is the intent in the in the example walkthrough we're going to do here because we all this is just an example right so any one of those is fine or even a fifth one i'm just trying to see right I'm now it doesn't do any of those right now it's busted so I'm just trying to think if I can get the whole uh, the the, the uh, diagram on the screen here. You can't while you're looking at the comments. Yeah, I know. That's I just trying. Meaning, to... Right now, it doesn't do any of those, right? And and so it doesn't actually have any way to to, to deal with um, time synchronization. The old the red text does if you look at the red text. Right. So. Um... Well, actually, I don't remember. I can't say that the red text does without looking. So maybe it doesn't. I thought it did. Honest, I'm having a little bit hard time following this. Uh, um, um, Thomas, could you? So I'm trying to put the die. I think that Dave, we, we need to see the diagram so these guys can uh, tell us which method they're using. But um, you, you can go to the. Uh, can't you see a uh, built-out version? Yeah, I was just going to do that. I just I can't see a built-out version. What? Oh, could can I? Why don't here? you click? The, yeah, that one. See, see yeah. what that one gives us. I yeah, don't know if that'll maybe. do it or not. No, not quite. <laughs> well, better than the comments. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so that, that's the, a C. It, what mostly? Yeah. So in the green text, right? You see where the uh, um, attestation result. And yeah, no, this one doesn't, right? You can see in the green text here, right? The attestation result uses uh, H prime in the bottom line to the right. And in the line right above that, all of the entities got H prime. That's not the question here. The question is what happens if H prime, the relying party, did not get H prime before that line? What happens? So if this was not received yeah if that one was dropped it, or delayed this, this this one occurred further down yes what the, what happens on receipt of that attestation result there's at least three or four possible answers that can work so i, I, I think just, this gets just, to just, just before you go to that let's just eric and and uh thomas did you understand it, the question i do i would yeah. just discard the result because you can't trust the result or you can buffer it and wait for the for the handle to arrive. I mean, or you can use a solution that lets you solve it. Correct. Those are the possibilities. I want to know which one of those is this example going to pick. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> I let okay, we can pick one. This is an example. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. One walk okay. Just go. They can't just say can't process the results until it release. I don't know if you have to choose one or just say that you can't process the results. Mm -hmm. It means you drop or buffer unless you're going to include two handles or use a counter, right? Those are different so, ways of solving it. So, um, Dave, I, 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 think, process. I think that you should buffer it until such time as you receive H prime prime. In other words, it's okay. possible you'll never receive H prime. Yeah. yeah. Now, okay. this is important for the security consideration section that we're going to go to next. And it's because if you use the buffer, um, if that gets delayed indefinitely, you're continuously buffering more and more and more and more and more messages. And so there's a state attack on the wrong party. But but I think you only I think you only uh, you only buffer once. 
can't. It's, so I, is there, I'm saying there's all no of order. possible in implementation. I think out of the choices, this is the worst one, but it is the a problem. valid one. So, yeah, so, yeah. so, but is it, is it, I, H prime is not obviously a counter, so you can't compare them, right? Uh, that depends on how you define it. That that's the text that we already have in the previous section. Um, <laughs> Point is, you can't, can't, you can't, you can't why assume do we have that to if you the answer. I mean, I don't understand why we can't just we can't currently process it. It doesn't. We don't have to require the solution here. No, that you're well, walking through an example to illustrate things. So, so the reason the reason why we need to have we need to know whether you are buffering zero results in other words drop it one result where you can somehow know it's always the latest one um yeah. or uh end results where you just have to keep them forever right um right. and and dave's point is that the uh keep them forever there's an attack on that so we wouldn't we would prefer not to specify that but, but to be clear um, i'm fine if we use that in this example right because it's just an example it's, if that's the simplest way to describe stuff it's fine to, it's fine with me if you say and we're going to use the buffering um solution here in, in this example you know, in, in, in this example okay. i don't have any objection to that so if that's the simplest way to do the text that's fine i'm just saying if i was going to implement it i wouldn't choose that but as far as you know this isn't how you implement it this is not the normative thing this is right. how you straight how handles right. work so <laughs> Where does the, text it's go? the simplest the simplest is is to drop right the simplest is to just is refuse. To drop. I agree. Yeah, I agree. That so let, let, let's say we drop. And, and okay. I mean, okay. Where and do we mean, write that? Uh, I would prefer it be written in the uh, place where I put the comment. Uh, was that this one? I can't remember. <laughs> I think it was when well, I was reading yeah, forward. Well, I said, and this is where I would expect to find it. Yeah, but but the example figure handle password, and then we saw the freshness. Okay. That's the one. Um, yes. yes, that's the, uh, a, yes, that's the one. To, that's the one. Right. It's because the definition provided in Epic Freshness, there's four definitions there in that paragraph, and so the definition would be replaced by, you know, uh, is fresh as discussed in uh, Freshness, where in this example, um, the if there's a mismatch, it will require a retransmission. You know, maybe there's a shorter way to say it, but. Something like that, because the definition is meaningless here. We need to say which definition. According to the definition provided in freshness. So yeah, according and you to see that paragraph there provides four of them. So there's yeah. not the definition is four of them. So we just need to replace the definition with you know uh, something that means uh, the case. You can see or by requiring retries in the case of matching handles. That's the case where the you have the drop, and so that's the one we're gonna pick here. So, so we're, we're replace it with the drop. Definition. Maybe the definition provided in Epic Freshness, where by uh, there's no comment. Retries are required in case of mismatching handles. If you want to use the same text. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep, I agree. That would resolve my comment. Thomas, you okay with that? Perfect. Okay. And Michael, are you adding the actual Epic Freshness label in a separate PR or? I will fix it somehow. Um, <laughs> Before submission. Okay. Because it won't yeah, compile. It, okay. it won't compile. Yeah. So, so, uh, yeah. So I have it in my buffer and okay. I'm going oh, to. Okay. Um, uh, just add it to master. I think it's the tr simplest okay. gotcha. uh, thing. Add it. Yes, anchor. I'm just going to do that now. Okay. All right. So, uh, Okay, that's the question I was just asking when we were looking at the diagram is what happens if that uh, line didn't make it? Um, and I'm not saying we got to change the diagram. It might just be useful to add a parenthetical or something that says, you know, if the relying party had not gotten it yet, then it would be dropped. Something like that it would be a, a, a fine clarifying here, which does not change the diagram or the flow. Um, that would be my opinion is it would be helpful because it would be the natural question the reader would ask. But. So in here, you want to add a, a sentence is what I think you're saying. Um, 
Yeah, because, uh, well, not in there. I'm saying after there at some point. Could be the next paragraph. Could be in That's between. That's I'm saying. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm proposing yeah. to add a paragraph after the sentence. Or a single sentence would be sufficient, I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, in, if the... If the handle had not yet arrived... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, take a shot. Then the attestation <laughs> result would have to be dropped. Or would be rejected. Would be rejected. Okay. But, but in this Coma. example, right, it's, it is received. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your right. comma's in the wrong place. Do you want me to put there? No, 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 no. Move it back a word. Good catch. But you want to say, but in this example, it is received. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy. Um, I guess I'm just going to commit that one. Okay. Uh, all right. The next comment is here. Okay. This is about diagram design and, and correctness. Uh, either, and this is true for every diagram in the, you know, all the diagrams in the whole uh, appendix here. Either uh, the only time that it's okay to include a time in the actual message, meaning not a delta, but the actual time, is where the sender and the receiver have synchronized clocks. This example does not have that. So we should never, ever see a time by itself as opposed to a delta. So if you look at red 1533, there's a delta according to the same clock. That's an offset. It's not a timestamp. So that part is fine. But there's nothing a receiver can do if they don't have synchronized clocks with an actual just a time. And so you're suggesting. Old that... text is right. Well, old, old style is right. You can see it's a different message being referred to here. That's the attestation result. Which is the evidence, so it's actually higher up, but only a delta is interesting. So it needs to go back to, I think, whatever was in the well, it was broken there too. Um, I think it's supposed to be, oh, yeah, um, I think that's right. What you're highlighting now is what it should say. I think so. Can I replace this time VGA with time EGA minus VGA? That is my question. Yes. No. And I'll fix the, the anyway. Line. We'll fix the lines up. That's not the only time that this happens. I just commented on two of the lines. I think I don't know if there's two lines or three lines or whatever that had the same issue. Then there's this one here. Okay, attestation results RxV. And you can see there it's RxV minus RgV. Okay, and was there another one? Yep, 1537. RV. It's going to be the same as what you just pasted in the other one. Is it? Yeah, because it's the same attestation result being relayed. It's the same message, so. Okay. Anything um, else? 
Well, the line offsets won't line up now. Well, but, I, uh, I know. I'm not going to fix yeah, that yeah, here because yeah. it's yeah. too hard to I understand. do. It's too tedious to do yeah. that off afterwards, yeah. Um, I'll have to do another read through to make sure it's completely fixed, but uh, I notice that there's no discussion of uh, the use of those times in the text under the table, but if it's the same as the previous section, it's okay. And I have to go back and check now that I know what, uh, now that I know the drop one is intended, which is the simplest to explain. Um, it might be okay. I'd have to check. What the hell? I don't do this right. Did I do this wrong? No. Um, okay, I need to click here. Told me I was starting a review, but maybe that's what's the mistake. Okay, just okay. Well, what is? All right, so can we commit this now? Um, I'm saying I would want to do another read through to make sure that I don't see any other gaps now that you've answered my questions because I couldn't branch predict. Um, so all I can say is maybe, or if I you do, then, I, then I might end up file, filing another uh, pull request or something if I see that it needs to be fixed. I'd like to do it that way. Okay. Um, but um, Dave, Dave, we have no state that capture this. You, you are the state. Are you fine with that? Um, that when you say capture that, you mean that I need to review it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, otherwise, we have to keep it open. Should I, should I, I yeah. maybe uh, I, yeah, I leave okay. this open again? One ninety-eight. Uh, Sure. Why don't you do that? Why don't you uh, um, Close it and open it merge again. merge this, leave the issue open, assign the issue to me, and that will yeah. be the state, and then I will close it if it looks good. Yeah, that that's better. Okay, then I'm more comfortable with this. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Good suggestion, Hank. Thanks for calling it out. Okay, I'm gonna delete the branch, I think, and. All right, we got through that one. That was a long standing one. Thanks, guys, for <laughs> working on that one. Okay, and uh, we're going to assign. Um, Taylor. Have you been called Dave Taylor a lot in your life? Yes. <laughs> and spelled that way too with the Taylor. Yeah, I almost I almost failed French class in grade eleven because apparently I was known as Richard the entire year. See, t Taylor is English. Taylor is German and has a completely different meaning. Yeah, no, my, my French teacher was convinced I was a different person, so I didn't get any marks for participating. That's <laughs> <laughs> fifty percent participation. I, you know, June June twenty two, I go into the teacher and went like, you know, WTF? Like, why'd I get a D? And she's like, Oh, you're a great student. I'm like, Yeah. Well, where's my mark? And she said, Well, Richard, I, I couldn't find a Richard. She couldn't find a Richard in the class. So. You know, anyway, finally Wait, figured she out. Down as like Richard Michelson or something. I mean, <laughs> that's who she thought I was the whole year. Okay, um, there were there were four other girls whose name was Caitlin and Mary Kate and stuff like that who were also who also had this problem. Uh, she couldn't figure out who they were. Um, anyway. Anyway, add. Okay, so is this the next uh, the next good PR to deal with in this grouping? Um, Why not? Sure. Because okay. <laughs> I'm thinking we don't need to spend time if things already have uh, 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 approvals and no comments. You can just deal with those offline and merge them. So we don't have to spend right. time with exactly. those. So yeah, this is fine. So okay, uh, this looks uh, like just missing words to me. Yeah. 
not missing. It's a uh, redundant. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just a grammar fix. Yeah. Okay, the network proc delay point is not clear. Why? So it's fine to say that the depth is directly proportional to the maximum network propagation delay, mm -hmm. but it's not obvious why that's the case. Um, so, you know, for example, and I'm not saying you use this example in text, but here's what I'm thinking, right? Let's say your um, handle distributor is on Earth, and your uh, uh, a tester and relying party and verifier are all sitting on Jupiter, and you're using, you know, a transmission across space. It's not lossy. So there, the maximum propagation delay from Earth to Jupiter is huge, but the propagation delay between the three entities is very small. And so that's why I'm saying it's not obvious which propagation delay you're talking about. Right. Okay. From the okay. end of the distributor to the, uh, yeah, to participants. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I'm saying that's, that, that's the part that's not obvious, right? If you okay. broadcast from Earth every day, or, oh, sorry, or even every, you know, minute, right? They're getting them at one minute intervals, right? Even though they're months away. Handle distributor and the participants? That's why I'm not sure that this statement is true in the example that I gave you. Well, oh, your, your example the was... The epic duration is one minute, right? Not three months. So is from, yeah, yeah the propagation delay between uh, the first one that it receives the handle and the last one. There we go. Now I think we're talking. So it's a skew. The, f the first to receive the handle and the last. Yep, that statement, I believe. Yeah, there we go. You probably don't like that comma. Uh, I I don't know. I am not English, so. <laughs> um, no, I think the comma's good. Uh, and to make it read right. better, given the length of the first one, I would repeat after and, and it is. Which means you don't have to cache the subject in, in verb of the, uh, <laughs> goes to the object. Okay. Okay. Cool. Wait, uh, let me just read it one more time now to make sure the grammar works. The appraising entity shall compare the... Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong sentence. Uh, I got to read the first half of 1163, which is off the screen. I think it works great now. Um, okay, the depth of such epic window is... Is uh, directly... Is proportional to the... Direct, so we jump from directly to here. Yeah. Uh, maximum network delay between the first to receive ma net okay. Okay. Yep. okay. I think it's okay now. Yep. Is it f the first to receive the handle and the last to receive the handle redundant? Can we drop one of the two receive the handle? Maybe. Yeah, so I thought it was worth spelling all the way out, but I agree it may be redundant. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm fine I, with either, but I just I, wanted to point out. My preference is to keep it for the same okay, reason cool. as Michael. No I, think it reads slightly better. I know it's wordy, and I usually don't like wordiness, but mm -hmm. that's why I'd be okay either way. But I think it's easier to understand with the words in there, unfortunately. Okay. But usually I'm, I'm with you, right? Remove, remove redundant words. So thank you yeah. for asking. <laughs> Okay, still a racist condition. Note that if the network round trip is negligible, the depth of the epic window might be one that is consisting of only handle, only the handle associated with the current epic. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure if it's if the network round trip time is negligible because it's, it, maybe it's uh, if you're okay with dropping stuff or if you have other solution, right? Because if you have something in flight, um, even if it's you know one millisecond or less, there could be something in flight at exactly the same time. That is, that, that, is, that is true. That is true. We can drop the whole sentence, everything. Uh, I, yeah, I, I like that idea. Let's just drop the sentence.
leave it as an exercise to the creator. <laughs> <laughs> if they want to come up yeah. with a situation where it might be one, let them. <laughs> Otherwise, assume two. <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> <laughs> It's sort of among the doctor, it hurts if I do this. <laughs> All right. So now we have a nice sentence here that goes into some section. Where does it go into? Freshness, I thought, somewhere. It's right yeah, subsection, the, yeah. It's right after the quoted paragraph that I put into the other one. So about yeah. the, the three or four possibilities, I thought this was a fine place to put it. All right. Happy with this? Yes, vote for me. Yep. Okay. So, security considerations for handles. Oh, look, he's already added a uh, a label on that one that you had an action item to do, and it's a different label. Mm. So, I wonder uh. if we just change it right now to uh, um, Epic Freshness. Remember that one. Good. <laughs> I was just like, what was it? Okay. <laughs> oh, active conflict. Uh, I like that. Where did it go? I know. Five. It needed a reload. Oh, okay. It already, yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah. 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 Presumably, he, he's going to use it at some point so to fix the yeah, yeah. reference. Uh, right there. Uh, yep. And core. Okay, the text looks fine to me, except for thirteen twenty six. I think we need to reword somehow. Uh, okay, this data isn't obvious. It, if you can drop the handle sent to everybody. It's not a denial of service. You're locking people to a past epic and they'll stay there and accept things. It's only a denial of service if you can block it to a single entity, right? It, like the receiver, right? If you block it to the receiver, mm -hmm. then then uh, then there's a denial of service attack. If you do it to the, just the sender, it's a denial of service attack. If you do it to both of them, it's not a denial of service attack. It's just mm -hmm. a staleness attack. Uh how about we write selective dropping of handles to specific entities uh, yeah uh, yeah okay selective dropping of handles well selective to me says you drop one but not the other handle to the same entity okay that's not what we're talking about here you're talking about dropping it to some entities not others so focus, um, focus dropping of handles to specific entities dropping the, dropping of handles to uh, a sub yeah to some, but not other. I, mean, I, 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 mm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change the, the first sentence because this is, you know, that that sentence is is quite true, right? That, not, that's true. It's only, it's only... Right. Yeah, it's when we specify further that we 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 yeah we don't do the right thing. So uh, let's let's move to the second bit. There. Let's put a period uh, here. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. That's fine. Um, a it will... hacker could. Uh, uh, drop handles to only some entities which will typically yeah and not some entities and not others comma which, which. yeah yeah okay yeah cool <laughs> It says attacker could handles. Is that right? Uh, that should say 
drop. block. <laughs> drop or block. Yeah, yeah, either one. Okay. Thanks, Ned. Um, since you can't draw panels that you still think about, that is true. I mean, uh, I, well, I, 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 I felt, yeah. And, um, you could remove the sentence, mm -hmm. um, or we can figure out how to fix the sentence. Well, I, I wanted to have something there, right? So I thought this one because uh, it, I felt bad because uh, that attack is otherwise, un, you know, um, unaddressed, and, uh, and that's not good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, so we, we should say that, something. The point yeah. is that as long as I can suppress the handles received by the verifier, then the verifier never notices that there's new evidence of compromise. That's my understanding of this, this point. This one is about delaying, in fact. So you delay the thing to the appraiser, and, mm -hmm. then, uh, and then you let the message uh, reach the appraiser. But at that point in time, you know, uh, the, the evidence that has been produced by the attesting entity is not is not fresh because maybe you have compromised it in the meantime, but the but the appraiser receives the evidence which looks good, right? Yeah, so that basically you're opening up your uh, replay attack window yeah. Yeah. Uh, indefinitely to, for the duration of the delay. Mm. I, I'm happy with this sentence. Um, you know, uh, which, which sentence? Uh, I'm happy with with this with this sentence. No, no. I think you're talking right. 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 No, I'm we're talking about 1338. 1338 is the one that's. Ah, oh, not I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, wow. this is you know, um, I, I I fail to see how you can effectively block something like this. Exactly. That's why I said maybe you just have to remove that sentence. Right. <laughs> and not talk about how you can thwart the attack. Mm. You say, hey, there's an attack that you, you know, again, left as an exercise to the reader. <laughs> okay. well, I don't know. I don't know if, if this is acceptable. Okay. I mean, uh, I thought we, we a security consideration should uh, at least um, state clearly that this attack is not uh, addressed. So, uh, I mean, well, I, attack, I'm, you've, told us, you've told us about the attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, maybe it's here. Uh, we would have to do that. Maybe we oh, need to drop the Oh, yeah. You're right, because without that sentence, you're not actually mitigating the delay threat. You're only mitigating the... Uh, mm. The other one, yeah. Because it says, uh, to mitigate these threats, the transport should. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, even if, the chat, even if the transport does that, it still doesn't mitigate the delay attack, right? And that's what, the, mm -hmm. that's what that however means. So let's, let's not claim a mitigation here that we can't live up to. Um... And uh, I think we should come back. If someone comes up with a solution, then we should come back to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but at least, you know, having a transport that, that is sensible to reorder and drop and tells you, you know, uh, you, you can do st something. You can build a strategy, uh, so a different sir, strategy on top of that. But uh, they're saying if I use TCP or TLS, which are yeah. reordering, then. Yeah. Then I, 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 uh, my transport deals with that problem with with some of the problems, mm -hmm. right? Because not not, not, not the one, that, not the attack, not the, the delay attack, but the, uh, the the reordering reordering attack. Yes, correct. So here's my okay. So here's my suggestion here. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. TCP mm -hmm. can't detect drops until something actually makes it through. Then and only then can you detect drops. Mm -hmm. Now, if um, you have um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the periodic. Uh, thing when there's no data. Um, keep alive. Keep alive. Yeah, if you have keep alive turned on, you can detect drops. But if you don't have keep alive, you can't. Mm. How about Sorry. this? Uh, yeah. Provides yeah. the ability to detect reordering and draw. Um, TCP can do this. TC, uh, TLS uh, definitely does this. <laughs> because TOS inherently has keep lives. Uh, because uh, because well, an attacker could in fact uh, spoof your T your TCP, right? I, but if right, but I'm saying 
TLS only does this if it enables keep lives. Otherwise, it can't. You can't detect drops. Not until there's another message to send. Right? Yeah. And if you indefinitely yeah. drop, which is the delay attack, then there's no way yeah. to detect it. it it's mm. it's only when the the keep lives are turned on, and then you actually don't receive the keep alive that you say, ah, there must have been a drop. It's gone down. I don't think TLS does anything that TCP does. No, uh, doesn't no, argue. No, 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 no. So the, point is that the point is that the on-path attacker can manipulate okay. your TCP. Okay, gotcha. Unless now, now you've, you've also got you've also got TLS, which says no, no, you still can't do that, right? Mm -hmm. So, so that the 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 attacker can drop your TLS segments, right, with TLS in it, and you're so, still screwed, right? So, but, all this is true. I'm going to suggest you actually don't say that sentence. Exactly. So I mean, you could add quick to the to the right. to the logs, yeah, right? Exactly. And so you that. add quick. You can yeah. add various multicast secure distribution protocols and so yeah. on. So yeah. Rather yeah. than trying to enumerate yeah. them, yeah, I, I wasn't intending to enumerate them. I was just trying to point them in the direction of something. Hmm. I mean, transport that has the ability say, to do this and that. I think it's, right, it's enough. Just, right? I, I, let's. How about we just leave it like this then? Mm, no, it's misleading. No. Because it seems like everything uh, before that can be mitigated by this, by a transport that behaves like that, but it's not true. Okay. Uh, the, the however was uh, for a purpose, which is you know there is a there is an attack that you cannot. So we we should say explicitly the attack above is not uh, addressed by uh, such transport. Though. The delay attack. Yeah. 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 Thwarted or mitigated? Thwarted. Okay. All right. So, are you happy can't. with this? No, no, no. Can't. No, can't. 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 Because it should be say can't be thwarted. That's it. Can't be thwarted. Uh, and put that as the same paragraph because then it's clear. That yeah. Yeah, if yeah, the yeah. transport, maybe there's some other solution, but, <clears throat> but if the target hasn't. No, no. Delete all that from the if to the end. Same paragraph, but at period after thwarted. And I guess the word only doesn't apply. So is that what you're thinking, Thomas? Yeah. Can't be thwarted in this manner. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, you know. So some of the attack is mitigated because yeah. they can't do the reordering and drop, but they can yeah. still delay your handles is what the point yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. You can still you still have the opportunity of widening the replay window. Yep. I think we should just let this be. All right, anything else on this part? I think it is slightly confusing now uh, when it says, uh, uh, what is it? Um, yeah. To mitigate this thread. Did so you sure. refresh? No, apparently it didn't properly refresh. Did there it we commit? Go. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, so this attack is mitigated. It's not this attack, but yeah. um, selective dropping. So dropping and um, dropping re and reordering it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reordering and dropping attacks, something like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, damn it! <laughs> ordering and dropping attack like that. Attacks are. Because those are two different ones. Hmm. Uh, and I just to be able to steal a word back, you can even delete the the at the beginning and still have it read fine. And attacks should be plural.
Okay. Good enough. All right, we're exactly at the top of the hour. We still have other pull requests with comments, and so in your uh, criteria of just merging, some of them will fail, which require discussion somehow. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, um, I don't know, I'll just pick three of them, see what they say. Well, well, you can see on the far right side whether there's any comments or not, where it says, you know, quote one, no, no, far right side. Yeah, that there. Those are the ones with the comments. Is the ones that have those so little tag on it. So these apparently have no comments. Uh, so you don't need to bring them up on the screen then. Right. Right. So, so I'm just gonna. I, so I'm just saying, if I see, uh, well, well, I was looking for three. three. I well, was looking for me as the author, it's inside that, out of the. Okay. Right. All right. So fine. Uh, it, it, for that one. So I'm looking for three check marks, is what I'm saying. And oh, three check marks. Okay. Uh, assuming that uh, well, MCR, I want. So I'm I'm one of the authors. So um, that's what I would. I would rather have three, but if I need to count the author, then that's fine. Okay. Gotcha. So all these three would 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 go in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to take your time up doing that ones. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have. How many comments do we have left? Okay, so these are all the pull requests. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna bring this one up since it apparently has six comments. Um, and I doubt we can solve it now. I said that really seems awkward. Suggested change. Uh, everybody likes yours. I saw you plus a, somebody else's thumbs up plus my plus one, so. Yeah, yeah. So everyone's happy with that. With yours, yeah. Thumbs up there. I guess I'll read his more comment and more. Yeah, we'll have to come back to that. We're coming back to this one anyway for that issue. Uh, my, my comments there were trivial to address. So this one is easy to get to be a merge state for today. Okay, I'll look at it in a moment. I don't want to rush through it. This yeah, week. yeah, I agree. Okay. All right. So we're meeting on Tuesday. Um, and. Uh, I, uh, I hope we'll have only the ones that only issues that have uh, uh, comments will be still open. So that will be five or six. So you're still planning to do a submission today. You're going to wait until Tuesday to do a submission. Let me let me go through the last the things. And uh, and if I feel that we can do it, then I'm going to make a submission today. Um, what I really hope is that the shepherd will start the write up and our AD will start and that we may have one or two issues that we still need to close, but I hope they're trivial. Um, and, and then recognizing that our shepherd might raise some issues anyway. So, um, that's the goal, but I would like to have a stable document for them to, to read. I mean, you can always generate another submission on Tuesday, right? So. That's right. Exactly. That's my point. We can always do another one on Tuesday. Um, and we may we may look at the, we may look at whatever's remaining on Tuesday and go, oh, these are just you know wordsmithing, so we're not going to worry about it, um, and we'll wait for the next round of review. Okay, cool. So I'll just mention for those of you who aren't from maybe aren't familiar with the the process that we wind up with a shepherd write up who may make some comments. It goes to our area director, which is Roman, uh, who will probably do a fairly large amount of review um, and then it goes to the IESG and if we're lucky then there'll be nothing other than what Roman has said to us. So Michael there's is there going to be a, a quick uh, working group plus call on on this or or we go straight to the AD? So so we should be going straight to the AD because all of the comments that we're dealing with essentially are uh, comments that were working group last call comments even mm -hmm. though that was seems like it was months ago, which it literally was. Um, uh, but we're, officially, we're just, that's up to the chairs to decide. So yeah, that's up to the chairs. Anyone on the call here who'd really be able to say that for sure? So okay. Yeah, yeah, you could have another working group last call on this if they wanted to, and mm -hmm. I don't encourage it. But go ahead. Okay. Cool. Thank you. All right. Good. Cheers. Talk to you on Tuesday. Bye bye. Bye.